Hey everyone, it's Ross. In today's video, I want to talk to you guys about carrots. And I've been chomping on these guys uh, for a couple days now. We've been able to harvest. And these we planted out April 1st. And I'm telling you guys, there's nothing really that kind of hits it home for you than a carrot, I think. Um, I don't really know how to explain this in all honesty, is that there's just something weird about growing food. When you pull a carrot out of the ground, there's just some real satisfaction, some, some kind of sense of security that overwhelms you. And uh, it just clicks, I think. You know, this was a seed. You put the seed in the ground. Today is about 75 days later, we got ourselves a carrot. And mind you, best carrot you've ever had. First off, there's not a whole lot of difference in terms of flavor. All right, I'm gonna be honest. They're very sweet though. They're sweeter than the store, noticeably sweeter. But also they're fresher, right? I mean, there's that freshness factor. What I think people don't realize is that there's a different texture. There's a different, you know, kind of texture to that core. Not as fibrous, not as hard. It's more soft, especially when you pick them smaller. You know, you don't have to pick them and get these huge carrots. I don't think they're really that great at that stage. I think that's more so the big key here, the big takeaway from growing your own carrots is that you don't have to have these massive carrots. Now, I have had massive carrots, but you can dig around the soil here at the base of these plants and you can then see the carrot. And you can kind of feel around and move some soil around. You can be like, oh, this is now the perfect thickness. And if I pull this out, voila. This guy actually is not as long as some other ones I've been harvesting, but nonetheless, this is a good sized carrot. And this is good eating right here. This is what you want. This is gonna make you wanna grow carrots right here. This, this one right here even though it's not that big. So for me, you know, there's kind of like nothing like this. I really think there's something weird about this, particularly carrots, particularly pulling something out of the ground, you know, maybe even potatoes. You dig around in the potatoes here. You know, I can show you guys right on in here is that here's the potato we planted. And then it sh sends up these shoots from the eyes. And then if you dig around a little bit, you got yourself a new little baby potato. Pretty soon we're gonna be able to harvest these. And uh, these potatoes will be ready. And I'll be digging up through this whole bed here and just be able to pull up potatoes out of the ground. It's just something, something about it, guys. So for me, the carrot is not, it's not necessarily the best vegetable that exists, but I will have to say, um, it's a good one. And I really like it, personally. Um, and it has some kind of sentimental, some kind of value to it that I can't really put a finger on. It changes the mind. Let's put it that way. Um, but again, these we planted out April 1st as seeds. We planted them very dense. We talk about how we grew this. You know, I just scattered some seeds. You dig a little, you know, a little trough in the ground, little, little ditch, throw in some seeds, scatter that around, cover up the, uh, the little ditch there and you get yourself plants that come up very early in the season by the way you don't have to start them indoors they're very easy to grow there's nothing really that bothers them it's kind of a joke you got the right temperature at the soil enough season here's some uh, carrots that we started a bit later probably sometime around the first of may or maybe even the first or the uh, april 15th they're a bit further behind you can see that you can just dig around in here and they're just not ready. You know, they don't have that thickness just yet. Um, and you could keep doing this. Nice little succession plant. And if you plant them dense, like I have, you harvest the ones that are ready. Take out the ones that are ready. That makes space for the ones that are not. The smaller ones. And you pretty much have a lot of carrots here in a really small space. You know, I think it really works out well. The other nice thing is that I've had carrots here all wintertime. You can have carrots here growing in this climate pretty much all year round. If you can protect them from 
you know, animals, as an example, with this chicken wire, nothing's gonna get to your carrots and you can pretty much use your beds as a fridge in the winter time. And you can come out here, if the ground isn't frozen, you can come out here and pick some carrots and they're gonna be huge by that time. But I, I can come out here no problem various times of the year pick carrots or plant carrots and it's not an issue you know i can have these things in an endless supply that i'll never go hungry i'll never need to buy carrots at the store so for me i love these damn things and i think especially at different times of the year they're a little sweeter than others but i think the size is really what matters here picking them at a more tender size the texture's better, the sweetness is better. Yeah. All right, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and uh, you're gonna think about growing some carrots now. And uh, we'll talk to y'all soon, all right? Take care, everyone.